In the 1990s, astronomers had a genuine crisis. The oldest stars and globular clusters appear to be 15 to 16 billion years old, but calculations put the universe at only 8 to 12 billion years old. This wasn't just embarrassing, it threatened our entire understanding of cosmology. The stellar ages came from studying white dwarf cooling rates and main sequence turnoff points in globular clusters. At the time, this was solid, well understood physics. But the universe's age depended on something called the Hubble constant, which measures the expansion of space and thus the universe itself. Here's where it gets interesting. Measuring cosmic expansion is incredibly difficult. Early estimates of the Hubble constant were around 100 kilometers per second per megaparsec, which made the universe seem young. But those measurements relied on uncertain distance calibrations on far off galaxies. So the breakthrough came with better standard candles, type 1a supernovae and Cepheid variable stars. They gave us more accurate distances, which revealed that the Hubble constant was around 70, not 100. A slower expansion rate meant the universe took longer to reach its current size, and thus it is older. Then came dark energy. The universe isn't just expanding, but it's accelerating. This completely changed the age calculation, pushing it to around 13.8 billion years old. But what about those 15 to 16 billion year old stars? Turns out we were overestimating their ages too. The problem was in our models of stellar evolution. We didn't fully account for how metallicity, the amount of heavy elements in a star, affects its burning rate and its brightness. With less metals, these ancient stars burn differently than our models initially predicted. When we corrected for low metallicity, the age estimates dropped to around 13.2 billion years old. So in short, both measurements were off. When we fixed both problems with better physics and observations, everything lined up.